for an Arizona judge has rejected efforts of that state's Democratic Party to keep the no labels party and its candidates off the 2024 ballots. This, of course, many Democrats fear will boost Donald Trump's bid to return to the White House. So No Labels, a bipartisan group created in the wake of the Tea Party movement, was properly recognized as a political party by Arizona's Secretary of State. The judge blocked Democratic claims that there were deficiencies in the paperwork that No Labels had filed to get on the ballot. Democrats, though, may be able to refile the lawsuit with some new arguments. New Labels has gained ballot access in several states, but the stakes are particularly high in Arizona. Of course, a battleground state that Biden won in 2020 by just over 10,000 votes. Group leaders have said they'll stand down if there's not a clear path to victory, but Robert Gibbs, a lot of Democrats, including many of them who work on 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue, are deeply skeptical of that claim and wonder what's really going on here. How worried are you about the presence of no labels on the ballots for states, particularly battlegrounds like Arizona? Well, I think I'm worried, and I think others should be worried. Uh, let's take each of the points that you just made. I mean, just take a place like Arizona, 10,000 votes. It doesn't take much for to start peeling off uh, those voters and, and, and winnowing away that very small margin. Uh, but let's also examine this, John, the, the whole notion that we're not going to run somebody unless we can win. Let's all agree on one thing, if we don't agree on anything else, the likelihood that a third party candidate is going to accrue 270 electoral votes is zero. It was zero last month. It's zero yesterday. It's going to be zero a month from now. There's no chance that a no labels candidate is going to win. There's a hundred percent chance that a no labels candidate is going to almost assuredly pull votes away from Joe Biden uh, and impact this election. We've seen it happen a few times just in the last you know, 25 years. In Florida in 2000, we saw it with Ralph Nader, even as late as 2016 with Jill Stein, pulling votes away from Hillary Clinton in really important states like Michigan and Wisconsin can change the outcome of elections. Yeah, the no labels candidate or perhaps Cornell West, both potentially pulling away votes from President Biden, his team worried to say the least.